This world is saying constantly from every direction to every one of us, you will be glad when you get. You will be happy when you get more, when you get better, when you get nicer. That's what will make you happy. And I'm pleading with you in the couple minutes we have today based on the authority of God's word, don't buy it. Like, don't buy it. It is a lie. It's a lie. We're swimming in an ocean of deceit. Don't be deceived. God is saying in his word right now, like hear what God is saying. He has designed your heart not to be glad in getting more. God has designed your heart to be glad in giving more. And it's just totally countercultural way to think. And, and here, this, this is why this is good news. This is why it's delightful ground for us to talk about this because God is not saying give to us because he's against us. God is saying give to us because he is for us. He wants to save us from the lies that are coming at us in all these different ways. This is the love of God that he speaks like this to us. Now listen to verses eight and following here in chapter nine. He says, God is able to make all grace, listen to all the alls here, all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. As it is written, he is distributed freely. He is given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower, bread for food, will supply and multiply your seed for sowing. Increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way, to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. This is so good. See the picture here. See what God's word is teaching us here. God gives enough for us and God gives excess for others. God gives enough for us. He makes all grace abound to you so you have all that you need. God supplies seed to the sower, bread for food. A Christian in this gathering, here in this room and other campuses right now, you have in God, the God of the universe, a Father in heaven who is committed to providing for you. Who wants to make all grace abound to you. So that, now go down to verse 11. The Bible says you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous in every way. So ask the question now, okay, so why then do we have more than we need? Why do we have more than we need? And the answer in the Bible is clear, but it's not the answer of the American dream. In fact, it's totally different. And not even the average American Christian answer. The average American, even American Christian, answers that question, why do we have more than we need? The answer is we have more than we need so that we can have more stuff, nicer stuff, bigger stuff, better savings accounts, more comforts, more luxuries. But that kind of thinking is not from God. God says, I give you more than you need so that you can be generous to those in need.